The Magic Faraway Tree, Silky Story by Enid Blyton and illustrated by Mark Beach. Beach. Thank you. There's a wizard in the hall there. Mm. Lots of things. Joe, Beth and Franny were on their way to visit their favourite place in the world, the magic faraway tree. It was so tall, it touched the stars. It grew all kinds of fruit and flowers. At its top was a ladder leaning to amazing, leading to amazing lands. A lot of mushrooms. Toadstool's baby, I think those ones are. Oh, there's the ladder there, look. It's the door for them. That's for the lift. Be a lift yeah. <laughs> There's another door there. Yeah. Two doors. Yeah. One there, one up there. Okay. Most magical of all were the children's special friends who lived in the faraway tree. Moonface. Saucepan Man. And Silky the Fairy. It's mm. one Silky story, isn't it? That's what it said on the front anyway. Mm. So, let's all go up the faraway tree, said Franny. I'd love to show my new daughter Sil Silky. The magic far, oh, that's a bit bright. <laughs> no. The magic faraway tree usually whispered, Weesha, Weesha, Weesha. But th that day it was silent. Something wasn't right. Why have the leaves fallen off? said Beth. And where is all the delicious fruits? asked Franny. It, <coughs> it looks like it's been eaten, said Joe. Even the prunes. <coughs> oh, oh that was me. Yeah. Let's ask Moonface. Perhaps he will know what has happened, said Beth. The children climbed the tree, following a trail of mess, mud and fruit stones. Oh dear. Mm. They picked up clothes they found hanging in the branches on their way. Had someone lost their washing? As they passed the little window in the tree trunk, they heard a shout. Oi! Get off my land! <laughs> I don't think it was that. Oh, okay. Ah! Screamed a pixie. Oh, oh, oh. It's Pixie. That's Pixie voice. Yeah, so I'm going to do the, look at the Pixie. Yeah, no, I just did his voice. Oh, uh, that's the male Pixie, one. was it? Oh, what's, well, the can... what's the female Pixie? No, 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 you, no, you, you go ahead. Pixie. You no. be the Pixie, go for it. Pixie boy. An elephant. No, no, no. That's the... You're going to be the Pixie. You just said you wanted to be the Pixie. Go for it. He's <laughs> the pirate Pixie. I thought you were an elephant. <laughs> The elephant! exclaimed the children in surprise. Yes, there's a runaway elephant stampeding round the tree, making mischief. Making what? Mischief. <laughs> oh, he grumbled. He stared at the bundle of clothes. Hey, those are my pants. <laughs> Beth gave them to him and they carried on up the tree. Watch out, said Joe. <laughs> Okay. Where near Miss Wash's a lot room in the tree, she always tips soapy water over us. I can't but, actually see that. Oh no, I can't leave it. That's why I'm in trouble reading it because that sounds right in my eyeball. Let's make it eyeball water. Better? Uh, nope. Better? That's better. <laughs> but Mrs. Wash a lot had no water. The elephant drank it all, she said. It went trumpeting off, scattering all my clean laundry. I don't think elephants could try to climb trees. Well, that one can. When they arrived at Moonface's home, he wasn't there, but his bed was broken and it had huge footprints on the cover. Oh, wow. Oh, no. It looks like as if the elephant is, has been there too. <laughs> said Joe. Oh, dear, said Franny. Maybe Moonface has gone to see Silky. When they got to Silky's delicious, when they got to Silky's, a delicious smell of bacon wafted out of the window. 
There were crumbs everywhere and Silky was nowhere to be seen. But Moonface was there looking very worried. Suddenly they heard banging, crashing and shouting coming from above. And slowly they turned the page. Surely we turned the page, yeah. Looking up, they saw a little man covered in pots and pans that clattered together, climbing up the ladder. Hello, Mr. Shores, my man. Why are you yelling? said Joe. Why am I yelling? he replied. He can't hear over the noise, giggled Bear. What's the matter, Saucepan Man? What's the matter? he said. This is no time for chat. The land of Ramsey Bolts and the Swings is arrived. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what that was. I don't know, just made me up. Good, it's fun then, eh? said Franny. Not anymore, said Saucepan Man, as Vizos put his bell on an elephant from a rainy belt and it came in lively eye. It <laughs> ate up Silky's Bunzians and stole her away. We must go to Looky Look for her. <laughs> we need to find her before the land moves off again, said Joe. He's just changed his sex name. <laughs> Lead the way, Mr. Saucer Man. <laughs> the land of roundabouts and swings seemed deserted. Where is everybody? said Joe very quickly. Over there, said Beth. Look, there's a crowd. What are they staring at? Randy Bones and Swings. There's a heffalump there, look. Yeah. On the Helter Skelter. There it is. It was an elephant heffalump. It was sitting on top of the Helter Skelter. I just said that. Yeah. That's because I spotted it. Yeah. Holding something small and sparkly in its trunk. It could be a person. Yeah, I think it might be Silky. Can you see what it is, Freddy? That's not his said voice. Can can go in here, <laughs> <laughs> said Joe. <laughs> but she had gone. <laughs> Franny, come back! shouted Beth. But Franny was climbing up inside the helter skelter. <laughs> Come down, Franny! shouted Joe. But there was no reply. Beth and Joe waited anxiously with Moonface. What's happening? said Joe. See for yourself, said Moonface, handing him a telescope. A what? A telescope. A telescope? What's that? Is that like a telescope? Tele oh scope. The elephant has silky in his trunk. Said Joe in a Oh no! Where's Franny got it all? Franny looked at the huge elephant. You've made a terrible mess fighting everyone and you've taken a friend. She said bravely. I was just looking for someone to play with, he said loudly. No, he didn't. He said it sadly. Well, it's sad. when it's an elephant, yeah. it's loudly when they're sad. Okay. It's right. the same thing. Okay. Then, to the amazement of everyone watching, Franny held out her doll. The elephant put Silky down gently and took the doll. Franny and Silky came whizzing back the, down the helter skelter. Thank you for rescuing me, said Silky. You're welcome, said Franny. The elephant only wanted to play, so I gave it my doll instead of you. Oh, I'm so sorry I frightened you, said the elephant, trundling up beside them. It's time for me to go back to the roundy outy bowdy now. Would you like a ride? As they came to the end of the wonderful turn on the carousel, the roundy roundy, they felt like it might have been an up and down merry-go-round, <laughs> where the up and downs are. Uh, and up and, we know some of yeah, you that yeah, it up and down. Somebody yeah. likes an up and down. Yeah. They felt the wind begin to blow. Uh oh, Sean. <laughs> what? <laughs> Behave yourself. The wind. It's the wind. <laughs> the other kind, I think. <laughs> Come on, it's moon face. Who's moon face? <laughs> that one. Um, what was he saying? You like? had a <laughs> Whatever you just said, like he had quite um quite a deep slow voice. No, that was the elephant. No, oh, him as well. Okay, uh, moon face. Yeah. <laughs> no, that wasn't <laughs> him. Honestly, that oh, was a clangers. That was a clangers. That's right. 
Dad, me, so loud old Randy Bounty Belts and Swingy Swing Swings is leaving, said Moonface. We must go. Come to tea, said Silky. The elephant ate my Google, Google buttons, but I have pop cakes. Ooh. Hooray! Come that on, come on, was pop, around pop. before they were around. Uh, said the friends as they climbed down the ladder to Silky's house. Oh, cool, the scene there, look. Yep. Saucepan Man sang his tea time song. Two pops, oh, two pops for a cake, two taps for a spoon, two toots from a kettle, and we'll be home soon. Okay. Boom, Two pops for a cake, two taps for a spoon, two toots on a kettle, and we'll be home soon. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Lovely pop cakes, said Franny. The honey just burst into my mouth. Glad you like them, and I'm sorry you had to give your doll away, sighed Silky. Don't be sorry, said Franny. I'd much rather play with a real fairy like you. The children waved goodbye and slid down the inside of the faraway tree. Back to the woods below. <whistles> Boing. Wish up, wish up, wish up. Whispered the faraway tree. The leaves have grown again, said the. This really is a magical place. Let's come back tomorrow, said Franny. Maybe there'll be a different land at the top of the tree. To dun, end. Dun, oh, see joy. You put it in a safe place last week, uh, so we yeah. wouldn't lose it. Now it's gone. It's left us for another home. Cause why are you going all the way out there? Want another room? <laughs> what did you put it way down the other end of the flat for? There's still, there's still recording. Come on, quickly. Quickly before they give up. And then we there you go. it. Right. <laughs> if you'd like a, what we did. Yep. Come on. Thumbs up. Click on it, please. And subscribe, because it's free. Don't cost a single red cent, no. penny, dime, dollar. Durham. Durham. <laughs> Whatever else. Euro. Yep. Now. And if you subscribe, um... If you click on the the bell icon, yeah. YouTube will let you know whenever we have a new video coming out. Which should be in about 10 minutes. Yeah. And then it would be really nice if you click on the arrow and forward it to all your friends on your socials. Lovely. Thank See you, you next time. Oh.